how to create a client in Azure AI. Now we'll see how we can create a limited company client in Azure AI. As soon as you log in, this is what you will see. This is the assignment dashboard. You can use a third menu item from the top, My Clients, to navigate to the My Clients page, which shows a list of clients that you have already created. Click plus to add a new client. You can either fill in the details of the client manually, or if you have an IT or XML, you can use that to pre-populate the data. When you create a client, four details are absolutely mandatory without which you won't be able to save the client. These are client file number, which has to be unique, name, PAN, and the status. Depending on the fourth letter of the PAN, status is already selected over here. There are a few other details which you can fill in right now so that you can complete the audit and statement generation activities without revisiting this page. One such detail is authorized signatory. At least one key person should be designated as the authorized signatory. And you need to give it, give the role of the authorized signatory as well. This will be used in the signature area of final statement. You can have more than one. In fact, you can have up to six authorized signatories included in the final statement. Moving on to shareholder list, both for shareholder and share capital, there is this start date, end date concept because every financial year, the system needs to know what is the current constitution, the relevant constitution for that financial year for including in the, for computing the statement uh, correctly. So in this case, there has been no change in the constitution since the incorporation of the company. So I'll use the date of incorporation as a start date. End date can be left blank. Only when there is a change in the constitution, you have to end date the existing records and create a new set of records with a new start date. Moving on to share capital, Azure AI captures three details, authorized, issued, and subscribed share capital. Here again, you have to use the start date and give an end date only when there is a change in constitution. Please note that these are the number of shares and not the value. Face value is given separately. The system will multiply the number of shares with face value for showing in the financial statement. Once you enter the authorized and issued number of shares, you need to use this, this button, the greater than symbol button, to expand this row and enter the subscribed number of shares here. So this has been designed this way because there can be multiple subscriptions with different paid up face values. This completes all the necessary details. You can click save to save the client and proceed. Thanks for watching.